It's become a daily routine, waiting for drinking water in the city of Mykolaiv in southern Ukraine. Luda Klaus says the water in the taps is contaminated. Bombs are destroying us. The water pump was attacked near Kherson, so we're without water now. There's dirty water in the taps. We can't use it to cook food, only to wash our feet and use it to flush. Six months ago, Russian forces tried to capture Mykolaiv. The Ukrainian army managed to repel their attack and push them out of the city. But people like Alexandra Hukovyakina continue to struggle. I won't go anywhere. This is our land. We will stay here. <laughs> I thought that because of my age, I was going to have a nice life. But no, every day there's shelling. But it's not just the water. Thousands have been forced to leave the area. Roman Bosharov's house was destroyed by two Russian rockets. His family have left the country, but he says he had to stay. All men of fighting age are banned to leave the country. They had attacked before, but no one expected that this area would be targeted. It's not clear what they aim for. Could be the factory behind, but you see, they target people, residential areas. And there's no guarantee Russia won't try to take the city once again. Rockets continue to be fired on the city, reducing homes, schools and healthcare facilities. This used to be the traumatology area of this hospital. And as you can see, it was completely destroyed. Authorities say that around 10,000 buildings in the city have been damaged by the shelling. The streets look empty, except for barricades made of tires that show how the city is ready to resist a Russian occupation. Authorities are struggling to restore electricity and gas supplies before winter. The Russians will not pull back. They won't stop. However, as of today, we have everything in order to face them. We will meet them and fight them. We won't give up. While the fighting goes on in the southern and eastern parts of the country, millions have managed to escape, but many others are reluctant to leave. It's their home, they say, and their need to remain here is greater than the constant dangers they face. Erisabo, Al Jazeera, Mykolaiv, Ukraine.